First Chronicles chapter 5 verse 1. Kitabu cha kwanza cha mambo ya nyakati sura ya 5 mstari Listen to this. The oldest son of Israel was Reuben. Na mwana wa kwanza wa Israeli alikuwa Reuben. But since he dishonored his father, kwa sababu alimkosea baba yake heshima, by sleeping with one of his father's concubines, kwa kulala na mmoja wa suria wa baba yake, his inheritance or birthright, haki yake ya mzaliwa wa kwanza, was given over, ilipatianwa, to the sons of his brother, kwa wana wa ndugu yake, Joseph, Yusufu, and for this reason, na kwa sababu hii, for this dishonor, Reuben is not listed in the genealogical records as the firstborn. That is why you see in some families. When there is a family gathering, wakati kuna mkutano wa familia, the second born has money. Mzaliwa wa pili ana pesa. The third born has money. Mzaliwa wa tatu ana pesa. And when they meet, wakikutana, as they look around, wakiangalia, they don't see the first born. Hawamtambui mzaliwa wa kwanza. And somebody raises and says, Na mtu anasimama anasema, Why don't we wait? Kwa nini tusingoje? You will hear a father saying, Utasikia baba akisema, he is a liability. Ye ye ni mzigo. Even if you send him fair. Hata ukimtumia fair. We will need another fair to return him back to the city. Itahitaji utafute fair yake kurudi. Don't joke with the firstborn curse. Usicheze na laana ya mzaliwa wakwanda. Somebody raise up your right hand. Inuwa mkono. Declare my father, my father. Baba yangu, baba yangu. Every curse of the firstborn. Kila laana ya mzaliwa wakwanda. That wants to eliminate my firstborn. Inayotaka kuangamiza mzaliwa wangu wakwanda. That wants to eliminate me. Inayotaka kuniangamiza. As the firstborn. Kama mzaliwa wakwanda. In my family. Kwa familia yu. You are a liar. Wewe ni mwongo. Expire by fire. Expire by fire. Angamia kwa moto. May you never be one of them. Wewe usiwe moja wao. So personal iniquity. Maovu ya mtu binafsi. Is what makes first bonds. Ya nafanya wazaliwa wakwa. Or any other individual. Ama mtu mwingine yeyote. To collect a traveling cash. Apatwe na hila ana ya kuenea. Genesis chapter 38 verse 6 to 10. Mwanza 30 na nane mstari wa sita hadi kumi. We'll be praying shortly in the name of Jesus. Tuko karibu kuwanza maombi. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Genesis 38 verse 6 to 10. Mwanza 30 na nane mstari wa sita. These are two boys of one father. Hawa ni vijana wawili wa baba mmoja. The Bible says and Judah took a wife for Er is firstborn. Judah akamwoza mke Eri mzaliwa wa kwanza. Whose name was Tama. Na jina lake aliitwa Tamari. Of course it was the custom those days not Ay, nowadays. Ilikuwa desturi wakati ule lakini sio siku hizi. And Er Judah's firstborn. Naye Eri mzaliwa wa kwanza wa Yuda was wicked in the sight of the Lord. Alikuwa mbaya machoni pa Bwana. And the Lord slew him. Na Bwana akamuua. After God slew him, baada ya Mungu kumuua, Judah said unto Onan. Yuda akamwambia Onani. That is the brother of the one that has been slain by the Lord. Ndugu ya yule ambaye ameuliwa na Bwana. Take over your brother's wife. Uingie kwa mke wa ndugu huyo. Marry her and raise a seed to your brother. Umuoe na umuinulie ndugu yako uzao. That was the custom those days not Hii now. Hii ilikuwa desturi and because this man knew that if I give birth na kwa sababu huyo onani alijua nikiza mtoto will not be mine hata ito mtoto wangu the bible says because he knew the seed will not be his kwa sababu alijua uzao hauta kuwa wake when he went into his brother's wife alipo ingia kwa mke wanduguye he spilled the seed on the ground haka muagia chini lest that he should give seed to his brother asimpe ndugu yake uzao what happened in verse 10 mstari wakumi and this thing Neno hili Displeased the Lord Likamchukiza buwana He slew him also Akamuwa yeye pia Personal iniquity Maovu ya mtu binafsi Creates a traveling curse Anafanya laana ya kuenea Goes to his generation Ingia 
Until somebody with revelation rises up and stands in the gap. That is one source of a traveling curse. Let's go to Numbers chapter 16 verse 1 to 3. The second one is parental wickedness. Parental wickedness. Numbers 16, 1 to 3. Listen, Listen carefully. Now Korah, Korah, the son of Isa, Ishari, the son of Koath, Kohathi, the son of Levi, Lawi, and Dathan and Abiram. That is the sons of Eliab. Dathan and Abiram are the sons of Eliab. And on the son of Beleth, all these are sons of Reuben. Look at the curse of Reuben. It is still following people who are not even there. So this generation of Reuben is still there in the Bible. He took men. And they rose up before Moses. Together with certain of the children of Israel. In total they were 250 princes of the assembly. And they were famous in the congregation. And they were men that were well known. Now look at what happened now in verse 3. Mstari watatu. They gather themselves Wakakusanyika against Moses. Na Musa. I want to stop and say, Hapa nataka kusema. never rise up against any man of God. Usiwai inuka kinyume na mtumishi wa Mungu. Tell your neighbor whether they are genuine or not. Awe ni wa ukweli ama sio wa ukweli. Tell your neighbor leave them to God. Waachana nao waachie Mungu. You you will be safe. Ma, na utakuwa salama. You will be safe. Utakuwa salama. I know of a man. I can't mention his name. Najua mtu moja na siwezi mtaja. He went one day to his pastor. Siku moja alienda kwa mtungaji wake. And said I've been coming here seven years. Na akamwambia nimekuwa nikija hapa miaka saba. I want all the money I have given in this church. Nataka unirudishie pesa zote ambazo nimewahi toa kwa hili kanisa. My tithe Fungu la kumi, my offering, sadaka zangu, my prophet's honor. Za nabi. The pastor is wise. Mchungaji ana he asked him, do you have the record? Akamuliza una record? Of course, a very big church. Ni kanisa kubwa. He said, go and calculate. Akasema, nende ukafanya hesabu. Bring, I'll come and see. Alafu unilete hesabu yote. He brought, it was almost 60 something thousand. Akasema, ilikuwa elfu kama sitini na kitu. For seven years, 60 something. Tell your neighbor that is even wickedness. Hiyo hata ni uovu. Seven years, 67,000. He sent him to the department office of cashier. Akamtuma kwa cashier. Write him a check. Akamwambia muandikie check. He left the church. Akahama kanisa. Three years later. Miaka mitatu baadaye. He came almost dying of cancer. Akaja akiwa karibu kufa kwa cancer. Even as we speak he has not recovered. Hata tunapozungumza hajapona bado. Tell you neighbor, be careful with people who criticize men of God. Jihadhari sana na watu wanaowashtumu watumishi wa Mungu. Ambia jirani yako wakianza kuongea kuhusu yeye amka na uondoke. Aha. That way you will be safe. Utakuwa salama. Because God called them. Now look at what happened. They gathered themselves against the servant of God Moses and against Aaron and they said to them you take too much upon you. Seeing all this congregation, they are holy. Every one of them, the 250, the Lord is with them. They are anointed. 
Why do you lift up yourselves? Kwa nini nyinyi mnajiinua? Above the congregation of the Lord. Juu ya mkutano wa Bwana. They are telling Moses. Wanachomwambia Musa. And Aaron. Na Haruni. You are not the only ones called. Ya kwamba sio nyinyi tu mmeitwa. You are not the only one who know how to preach. Sio nyinyi tu mnajua kuhubiri. Tell you neighbor that is dangerous. Hiyo ni hatari. My father says. Baba yangu usema we may be classmates. Tunaweza soma darasa moja. But we are not classmates. Lakini neema zetu hazitoshani. Aha. You may have been even the headmaster or Labda, the pastor. Labda wewe hata ulikuwa mwalimu mkuu. But you are not classmates. Lakini kwa neema hatutoshani. When this happened. Haya yalipotendeka. Look at fast four. Mstari wa 4 very dangerous hii ni hatari and when moses heard musa aliposikia maneno haya as a man of god kama mtu wa mungu he fell on his face akaanguka kifudifudi he began to pray akaanza kuomba look at verse 28 mstari wa 28 the bible says biblia inasema moses said musa akasema you shall know mutajua that the lord has sent me ya kwamba bwana amenituma to do all these works ili nifanye kazi hizi zote i have not done any one of them in my own mind kwa kuwa mimi sikufanya kwa akili zangu mwenyewe i have not sent myself sijajituma verse 29 29 and this is what he said hivi ndivyo aliwaambia if this man kama watu hawa will die common death of all men or natural death wakifa kifo cha kawaida kama wanadamu wengine or if they are visited by visitation of all men ama kama wakapatilizwa kama wanavyopatilizwa watu wote if they die no more wakifa kawaida then the lord has not sent me basi mimi sikuitwa na bwana verse 30 says elathini but if the lord lakini kama bwana makes a new thing akiumba kitu kipya and the earth opens up na inchi ivunue kinywa chake swallow them up na kuameza together with the group pamoja na wote walio nao and they go down quickly na washuke ndani ya shimo then you shall understand hapo mtatambua that this men have provoked the lord ya kwamba watu hawa wamemdharau bwana what happened verse 31 31 and it came to pass basi ilikuwa as he made the end of speaking alipokuisha kusema maneno haya all those words haya maneno yote the ground inchi cleft asunder ikapasuka under them chini yao 32 32 Tell your neighbor the others are mouth. Arthi ina mdomo. Tell your neighbor the others are mouth. Arthi ina mdomo wake. The earth opened her mouth. Arthi kafunua mdomo wake. Swallow them up. Ikawameza. Listen to the next sentence. Hebu sikia maneno yanayofuata. There are houses. Na nyumba zao zote. All the men that appertain to Cora and all their goods watu wote walioshikamana na kora na vyombo vyao vyote 33 33 33 they basi wao and all that pertains to them wote waliokuwa pamoja nao tell you neighbor they went down alive walishuka wakiwa hai they went down alive to the pit walimezwa ndani ya shimo wakiwa hai and the earth closed up Arthi ikawafunika. They perished among the congregation. Wakaangamia kutoka kwa mtu. Innocent people. Watu wasio na hatia. Who never did anything bad. Ambao hawakufanya kosa. They died because of the wickedness of their parents. Wakakufa kwa ajili ya maovu ya wazazi wao. Any wickedness of your parents. Maovu yoyote ya wazazi wao. Whether they are dead or alive. Wawe hai ama wamekufa. I plead the mercies of God today. Naomba rehema za Mungu leo. I plead the mercies of God today. Naomba huruma za Mungu leo. May God open a door for you. Mungu akufungulie kwa wewe. To escape the wickedness of your parents. Uponyoke maovu May God open a door for you. Together with your children. May you not perish like Cora and Tala. Anyone around your life. Who is a Cora? Anyone around your life. Who is a Tala? By the mandate of the word of God today. I remove them out of your life. Anyone who wants to kill you with them. I remove them out of your association. Any unfriendly friend, any agent of Satan, 
who is around your life and they want to take you down with them I remove them by fire today you will not go down they will go down you will not go down in Jesus mighty name be seated for a minute you will not go down and that is the second origin of traveling curses. It will not be your portion. Genesis 11.26 As we wind up. And when we reach time to pray please. Tell your neighbor pray until you lose your voice. Omba hadi upoteze sauti. Tell your neighbor you will recover it after here. Uta itarudi baada ya hapa. Enda kunywa ndimu, asali. But you will go with a miracle. Lakini utatoka na muujiza. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. The grace of my father is very dangerous. Neema ya baba yangu ni hatari. It will deliver to you whatever you came to collect. Itakuletea chochote ulikujia. Whatever you come expecting. Chochote ulikuja ukitarudia. You will not leave this service empty handed. Hautatoka kwa hii baada. The grace of my father is available. Neema ya baba yangu ni deliver to your hand. Kukuletea mikononi. What you expected God to do for you. Kile ulitarajia Mungu akutendee. Ask your neighbor what did you come to collect? Wewe ulikuja kuchukua nini? Aha. Somebody say my miracle. Wangu. I receive you today. Nina kupokea leo. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Look at this family. Angalia hii familia. And Terah lived 70 years. Tera akaishi miaka 70 and then he gave birth to Abraham. Akamza Abraham. Secondly Naho. Na pia Nahori. Number 3 Aran. Watatu Harani. Verse 27 says. 27. Now these are the generations of this man called Terah. Na hivi ndivyo vizazi vya Terah. Terah begat Abraham. Terah akamza Abraham. Naho. Nahori. And Aran. Na Harani. And then Aran begat Lot. Harani Verse 28. Now this is a sad thing. Premature death. Hiki ni kifo cha mapema. Aaron died. Harani akafa before his father Terah. Kabla ya baba yake Terah. In their village. Kakwao kijijini. That is the land of their nativity. Ambako walizaliwa. Which is who of the Chaldees. Ambayo ni uru wa Wakaldea. Verse 29 says. 29 Abraham and now who remained. Abraham na Nahori waliobaki. They married and took wives. Wakajitwalia wake wakawa. Abraham's wife was Sarai. Mke wa Abraham aliitwa Sarai. Nahor's wife was Milka. Mke wa Nahori aliitwa Milka. The daughter of Aran. Binti Harani. Father of Milka. Baba wa Milka. And father of Iska. Na Iska. Story changes for study. Thelathini. A curse of barrenness. Laana ya utasa. Sarai was barren. Sarai alikuwa tasa. Had no child. Hakuwa na mtoto. 31 says. Moja, now Tera, Tera after the son died. Baada ya mwanawe kufa. That is he took Abraham his son. Akamtoa Abraham mwanawe and Lot nephew. Na Lutu mwana wa Harani. In, and they traveled. They went forth from Ur wakaenda kutoka uru wa kaldayo to the land of Canaan waende katika nchi ya Kanani ambia jirani yako don't settle in Aran usibaki Harani where were they going walikuwa wanaenda wapi somebody tell me where were they going somebody say Canaan Kanani they went to go into the land of Canaan. Walikuwa wakienda nchi ya Kanani. But they came to Aran and dwelled there. Walipofika Harani wakakaa huko. Some of us. Wengine wetu. We have been where we are for too long. Tumekaa mahali tuko muda mrefu. And by the grace in this service. Na kwa neema iliyo ndani ya nyumba hii. You will begin to move this year in the name of Jesus. Utaanza kuondoka mwaka huu. Some of you you will begin to move the end of this month. Wengine utaanza kuhama mwisho wa mwezi huu. I get you out of Aran. Na kutoa Harani. And begin to put you on the journey to Canaan. Na uendelee safari yako ya Canaan. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. I'm not talking about political canon. Mimi sisemi ile kanani ya kisiasa. They have not arrived up to today. Hatutafikia hiyo leo. I'm talking of biblical canon. Kanani ya Biblia. Where you are supposed to enjoy. Mahali 
the best from God. And he says, they dwell there. Verse 31. And the days of terror were 205 years. He died in Aran. He never arrived in Canaan. Premature death. Verse 32. Let's go now to the next one, which is chapter 12. And this shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. What can get people out of this is covenant. When you enter into covenant with God, that is why he says in Psalms 50 verse 5, gather to me not everybody but he calls a specific kind of people he says gather my saints and these are the ones I want those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice I want you to know what sustains destinies of men and women is sacrifice tell your neighbor Every covenant you make with God must be activated by sacrifice. Not prayers. Promises of God they are activated by prayer. But if you want long life whereby you become a foreigner to accidents. You become a foreigner to premature death. You make a covenant of longevity by sacrifice. Together with your family. We have a custom in our church in Nakuru. Every year the first months January, February, January na February we appear before God with a yearly sacrifice and we engage that sacrifice to give us long life to kill every enemy whether we are aware or not who are looking for us whoever wants to kill us they die our death uh -huh. So whoever makes themselves your enemies, they make themselves enemies of God. So Abraham, Abraham in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 this is what God says now the Lord had said so it means he is repeating himself again he had said to Abraham number one Abraham get out of your country Tell your neighbor, get out of your village. Number two, get out of your kindred. Get out of your father's out, number three. If you do that, I will show you a land. Verse two says, and I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. You will be a blessing. This is a covenant of blessing. And he told him, I will bless them that bless you. I will curse him that curses you. And in you, Abraham, all the families of the earth will be blessed. That is why today, we are talking of Abrahamic blessing. In Galatians 3.14. He made a covenant with God. He escaped the curses of his father's house. And Abraham was a man of altars. He raised 36 altars in the book of Genesis. And in each of the altars, he gave a sacrifice. I assure you, there is a level you can never reach with God. 
if you are a giver normally this year there is a level you can never reach with 100 shillings of course we need money but that is not the reason why I am speaking this to us but it is because of your destiny tell your neighbor your sacrifice is a battle seed so as we pray today, as you place your sacrifice of the whole of everything, prepare yourself also in this month and the month of February. And tell God, by this dangerous sacrifice, let my heavens open unconditionally. Some of us, we have saved only 30,000. Others 50,000. Others 100,000. For an emergency. But if you can surrender that to God at the altar, I assure you one thing. This year ends. You will have something that will shock you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking of experience. Before we pray, last year, we had upgrading the church building. And I spoke with my wife. Let us not give normally. We sacrificed for two months. And we raised 100,000. We put in the building of the church. And we told God. We don't want to be landless in the city. We don't want to be in the city. Driving one car for five years. Until the glory leaves. Even when you decide to sell. Somebody tells you I will give you this 100,000. God made a miracle. By the end. I remember the car my father bought me. I drove it for exactly three years. Planted it on my life 4th of December. 2016. 4th of December 2019. Toyota Premium was in my hands. To the glory of God. There is one like Tokumbo. You know Tokumbo, sir? You know it? Volkswagen Beetle of 1972. There are cars that when you drive, people think you are going reverse. But I said, because car is not a blessing, but the blessing brings a car. And by the grace of God, by that sacrifice, of course, and others along the way, to the Oracle TV. Kwa Oracle TV. Because Oracle TV needs to go nationwide. Maana, Oracle TV na staili kuonekana duniani kote. And when God wants to lift the life of an individual, na mungu wa kitaka kuinua maisha ya mtu, he creates a need. Anatengeneza hitaji. When you meet that need, wewe ukitimiza ilo hitaji, God meets your needs. Mungu anatimiza mahitaji yako. So we closed 2019, tukafunga mwaka wa 2019, with the car, Tukiwa na gari worth 1.5 mm ya milioni 1.5 Amen Glory to God Hallelujah I inherited from my father Nilirithi kwa baba yangu my biological father Baba yangu mzazi I inherited cases Nilirithi kwake laana from his father his father's father and spare parts of a bicycle. I never saw the tire. I never saw the headlamps of that bicycle. But by the grace of God and even I refused 
to know how to drive a bicycle. Kujua jinsi ya kuendesha baiskeli. When I came under Oracle my father. Nilipokuja chini ya Oracle baba yangu. I said even if you plan a bicycle on me. Nikasema hata unipandie baiskeli. I will not drive it. Sitaendesha baiskeli. Even if it is a mountain bicycle. Hata kama ni ile inaitwa mountain. Tell you anaweza God punish the devil. Mungu amwadhibu shetani. So I closed 2019. Nikamaliza 2019. With a car. Nikiwa na gari. And a plot of 50 na by 100. Plot ya 50 by 100. In town. Town. To the glory of God. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Not because I had money. Na sio kwamba nilikuwa na pesa. I had a sacrifice. Nilikuwa na dhabihu. And the sacrifice went ahead of me. Na dhabihu ikanitangulia. You will be surprised. Utashangaa. The person who was selling the parcel of land. Yule aliyekuwa akiuza hilo shamba. There is another one. Kulikuwa na mwingine. Who wanted to give that person? Alietaka kumpatia huyo mtu 1 million. Milioni moja. I was giving him less by 150. Mimi nilikuwa nikimpa chini ya hiyo kwa 150. And he said I will take the one of the pastor. Na akasema nitachukua ya mchungaji. He left 1 million. Akaachana na milioni. May you be favored in the name of Jesus. Upate kibali kwa jina la Yesu. As you give your dangerous sacrifice in this altar of dust. Unapotoa dhabihu yako within January and February. January na February. Some of you by May of this year. Wengine kufikia mwezi wa Some by June of this year. Wengine mwezi wa And some by October. Na wengine wa October. A miracle that will shock you. A miracle that will shock your people. A miracle that will shock your friends. Will be in your hand. Somebody with great faith say amen. Amen. Thank you for watching. We hope you've been blessed. This program continues tomorrow, same time. To get a copy of this whole sermon or any other on DVD, SMS or call 0710. Four four eight five seven zero. For prayers, call zero seven one nine seven two seven two seven two, or zero seven two two six five six nine zero six. To partner with the Oracle Television Network, SMS or call zero seven zero zero six two zero three. Two six.